Can I say I speak on behalf of all of us, all of us, when I say you were brilliant at the presidential yeah. debate? Oh, okay. <laughs> I just want to know, take us inside. Do you... You don't really don't want to go inside. I, it's really... I mean, I just know on my... Uh, like speaking, not on, a... speaking on behalf of myself, uh, I ate a whole pizza and drank a half a bottle of uh, red wine. Well, funny, so did I during the debate. And <laughs> you, it, they didn't show that ever, during every cut. I could tell when the camera wasn't on me, I would just be <laughs> shoving in pizza it. and drinking wine. No, but tell... Like, is it nerve-wracking to do that? It's, um... You know, I mean, it's a great honor to do it, and, and it's, uh, it's incredibly thrilling. I mean, it's to be on the stage with, you know, two people who... Have have spent the last year uh, dedicating themselves to this, so uh, I, you know it's a it's a huge privilege and an honor, and and uh, you just don't want to, you try not to have the story be about you the next day. You really yeah. want it to be a debate between two people. So you're very you were very very good, and I really enjoyed it. And I you know this is I, I've been through so many elections with you, and um, and you've you just get better and better at these debates and I wonder do you do a lot of debate prep yourself because you always yeah. hear about the candidates yeah debate. you do you spend I mean we spend uh, weeks you know prepping with research and you know uh, we have a whole team of people who are you know sitting in a room in Washington and New York trying to think up questions and then really the last week is the most intense I flew down to Washington I spent the week with my team and it's, it's like planning a, a future game of three-dimensional chess Right. So you're trying to sort of plan out, well, if I ask this question to this candidate, then, th you know, then we'll toss to this person. And so you try to plan out as much as possible, but, right. you know, there's no way to predict what's going to happen. Uh, the, other, the thing that amazed me about this one is the biggest winner, I think, and the biggest star that came out of the debate was Kenneth Bone. Oh, you know, Ken, Ken Bone, Ken, yes, Ken Bone. energy. energy. Uh, who, um... Asked a, 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 a such a sweet guy. I had a chance to talk to him before <laughs> uh, the debate, and also I interviewed him afterward. And it's funny, you know, the reason he was wearing this sweater, he said, is because he, uh, he, his father, before he passed away, had helped him pick out a really nice suit, and so Ken wanted to wear the suit that his father had helped him pick out. But when he got into the car to go to the debate his pants split open because he's gained a few pounds from the right, time right. when right. he uh, bought the suit. Just, so he had to do an emergency decision and he decided to go for the red Christmas sweater. He made the smartest decision of Best his life. Decision I mean, ever. guys, right. we can all agree, if Ken had been wearing, because he said it was like an olive-colored suit, right. he would not have popped he the way popped. he popped. No, and he yeah. had a really very serious question about energy policy yeah. he got to ask and he was enthusiastic about it. So, and I also love the fact that like, I guess Am uh, Amazon, I think, has sold out of this oh, red yes. sweater. Oh, yes. Yeah, no, they've sold out yeah. completely. And that there's all these people who want to dress up for him. Like, there's people ha that's the dressing Halloween up for costume. him as Halloween. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, Isn't that incredible? Yeah, Andy Cohen and I are doing a show in St. Louis on Saturday. I'm hoping Ken's going to come. Oh, is he going to come? I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping he is. I, I, I bet called he will. Yeah, uh, I called him. Wait, so. you called him? So now you guys are on a phone name basis? Well, I like mean, you're uh, on a phone? He, he, was on, he was on my show the other night, and I was like, and so I said, like, oh, if you want to come to our show in St. Louis, you should come. He was like, oh, yeah, I think I will. So I was like, okay. Oh, my God. You guys see how easy it is? <laughs> it's easy. It's easy. Uh, oh, my gosh. That is exciting. I, I'm uh, just glad it's over. I'm glad my, my <laughs> debate is over now, you know. Know, then on to the next one next week. What would happen if they called you and said, we need you to do the other debate? I think I'm good. I think I'm done. <laughs> I, I, I think I'm... I, You're good for the cycle? My hair, my hair turned gray and, uh, <laughs> you know, yeah. So, you mean even grayer? Even grayer. I feel like it did. I feel like, yeah, I feel like I had a little bit of pepper left in there somewhere. No, and there's now still, it's there's all still, gone. I'm going to tell you, because I, I told then. you, I, I do study you a little bit. And there, you still have just the tiniest right back here. There's yeah, one little, little, tiny, little, little, little pepper patch. I'm little hoping pepper the pepper patch. will come back.